My um, trauma started at a very young age. I had a very abusive father. He was abusive verbally, mentally, emotionally. Um, I was so young that I really didn't know I was being abused. Um, I didn't know anything else. At 13, I went into a foster home. Um, and that's when I became aware of really how intense my abuse was. Um, I was in a foster care system probably for about almost three years in multiple different foster homes. Um, and I suppressed a lot of pain for a lot of years. When I went back to my parents, um, I just suppressed it and suppressed it. I was very angry, very rebellious, full of just different emotions that I didn't know how to process. And I suppressed those for a very long time until almost a year ago. Um, I finally was able to find the courage within deep within myself to say I need therapy. Um, and that's how I started my therapy journey. My last foster home that I was in was literally a godsend. They are still in my life to this day. They're active in my children's life. Um, What's, what was very traumatic for me, I'm sorry. What was very traumatic for me turned out to be a really big blessing. When I first moved into that foster home, I was like scared because I'd already been to so many homes and I didn't know that they were gonna be such an amazing family and love me the way that they did. Um, but by the time it was time for me to go back home, I did not want to go, I didn't want to go back to that excuse me, but hell, there was always that connection. And when I would speak to them and see them, it was like a day wasn't even lost. You know, my time with neighborhood has been life changing. I would have to say, um, Dr. Woodworth always gives me the credit. But I do have to say that she has helped me, currently still helping me um, so much, so much. Um, I had another therapist before Dr. Woodworth and she was great, but it just didn't go deep enough for me. Even though the deeper stuff hurt bad and it was scary to go there, I needed to go there. And so I, I really appreciate Dr. Woodworth. She's just really caring. She makes you feel like she genuinely wants to help you and she's, She's just an amazing, amazing therapist. I talk about her, I brag about her, I should say, to my friends and my family. And I even have friends who have said that they could only hope and pray that they find a therapist like Dr. Woodworth. I started working with Christina during COVID. COVID was part of her distress. However, she had childhood trauma that had not been addressed for over 25 years and was impacting her on a daily basis. Through therapy, Christina has learned that she was not at fault for her trauma experiences. And this has shifted the way she thinks about herself, others, and the world. Being in a foster home, I didn't get therapy when I was in the foster care system. And I think that's very, very important. Um, I feel like if I would have had therapy at a very young age when I initially went into the system and I would have had a professional help me navigate through those feelings of abandonment and confusion and loneliness, I would have known how to like navigate through it and it wouldn't be so bad to this day. I know when I was in, a, in the foster care system, I didn't have anyone, not even a social worker, that I would see and be like, okay, I can release and I can just be free for an hour or whatnot, you know? And so I explained that to Dr. Woodworth and she was like, I think you'd be a great art therapist. I would definitely get my degree in that and to work with foster kids, to give them a positive, just release, free from the, the mental anguish. I had another primary doctor and it just was not going. It wasn't going well. And so Dr. Woodworth let me know that Neighborhood does acupuncture and they do chiropractic services, which is something that I could truly benefit from. So um, I've had an overall great experience with Neighborhood and so I would recommend them to family and friends.